Good day folks, and welcome to review number 23. Today I'm going to interrupt my review of the Transformers Prime Cyberverse line to bring you a review of something that I picked up rather unexpectedly. Today we're going to look at the Transformers Prime First Edition Voyager Bulkhead. Bulkhead comes packaged in robot mode in the First Edition Voyager style packaging. Uh, this packaging I really do like the looks of and I wish we had got to see on the shelves here in the US. The box is not the typical rectangular box, it's got a bit of a more angular front to it. The front is mostly clear plastic uh, showing off the figure in robot mode. The uh, back of the cardboard in the packaging has a bit of a lightning motif with an Autobot logo in the upper left hand corner. The back of the packaging features photography of the figure in robot and vehicle mode along with artwork advertising Transformers Prime. There's also a small photo showing and advertising the Optimus Prime first edition figure. Noticeably absent on the packaging is the uh, bio paragraphs we're used to seeing. The left side of the packaging shows artwork of Bulkhead from the show as well as noting the first edition series and the series number at the bottom. The right side features additional artwork and notes the fact that the packaging includes a display stand. So here we have Bulkhead in his robot mode and they uh, they did just a fantastic job of making him look uh, show accurate. There's a lot of nice paint applications. You've got uh, green accents around the windows here. Uh, darker and lighter silver colors. You've got some gold paint on the feet. You've got bumpers, tail lights. Uh, they just did a real nice job with this figure. Um, articulation wise uh, again pretty good. He's got bicep swivels, uh, knee, uh, hip or thigh swivels there, ball jointed hips. Um, he does not have a, a, a ankle tilt of any kind but his feet are slightly angled to allow him to stand at a bit of a wider stance and uh, he doesn't have a wrist swivel um, but uh, he's not uh, he doesn't suffer too much from that they did another really nice job with the head sculpt here uh, there's a lot of these uh, lines in his face that uh, that they've managed to mold in here in the little uh, fasteners on his forehead there that all look very good. Uh, there's molded details in his eyes and then uh, of course they did a nice job with the paint job too with the uh, silver face. They uh, painted his eyes blue rather than light pipe them even though there is light piping here uh, and then uh, a nice little touch of black paint there on his crest. Um, but uh, I think they did a, a great job with his head sculpt here, too. One thing to point out is when you open this figure, uh, he comes mistransformed in the box. Uh, the side pieces are kind of a little loose. There's a back panel here that's sticking up. Uh, his wheels are folded down. Um, and that's all just to make make room in the packaging uh, to make sure he fits in there without having to make too big of a packaging. But uh, what should happen is this panel should be folded down. Everything tabs together very nicely in his transformation mode. There shouldn't be any uh, any real loose parts. The, these uh, side panels uh, have a defined position which, uh, like I said, uh, when you first get them out of the packaging is all kind of loose and flopping around a little bit, but uh, once it's all tabbed together, everything's nice and solid. My biggest complaints uh, so far that I've found, at least in the robot mode anyway, 
have been just some of the uh, the sloppiness of a, a few of the paint apps though. Uh, it's nice that there's a lot of paint on him but uh, I've got a nice big silver spot on this door. Uh, I've got missing paint uh, from the corner of what will be his bumper there. Um, there's just several little spots around. Bulkhead's weapon of course is his wrecking ball and uh, they did a, a nice simple job with this. All you have to do is fold his hand in and there's a port there. Plug it in and now he's got his wrecking ball hand to go smash something. As mentioned on the packaging, Bulkhead does come with a little cardboard display stand here. Uh, so if you want to do something, uh, it might be a good idea to use that to, if you uh, put him behind some of your deluxe figures, you can use the display stand to elevate him a little bit. Um, but it is just kind of a, a cardboard box, so there's nothing too special about it. For a size comparison, here is first edition bulkhead standing next to the R.I.D. version of Prime. Uh, keep this image in the back of your head because the height difference here is going to show off one of Bulkhead's neatest features here. And here's a second size comparison just, uh, just to give you another good feel of his size. Uh, here is uh, Cyberverse Bulkhead. If you notice he comes up just about to his waist there so in uh, robot mode he's about half the size. Now to look at one of the best features of this toy, the transformation. The designers definitely earned their paychecks with this design. Aside from a secondary grill, there really isn't any cheating going on to give us an accurate robot mode and vehicle mode. If a certain part is visible on the robot mode, it truly is the same part visible when you get to the vehicle mode. The biggest problem with this transformation process though is clearance. There are so many parts that have to move and collapse, you have to make sure that each part has a clear path when you move it. Otherwise, you'll just end up hitting parts together. Along with this, I found that it works best to follow the order of the instructions as well. There are several places in the transformation where if you've skipped ahead, you may end up having to undo certain steps to go back and catch the steps you missed. Aside from that, I really enjoy this transformation. It may not be obvious at first, but everything does tab together well in both modes. All of these moving parts have a defined position in both modes, and both the robot and vehicle end up being pretty solid. When I complete going from one mode to another, despite having worked the transformation several times, I still get a certain sense of satisfaction. You end up with a great figure or a great vehicle, and despite being complex, the process is enjoyable. So here we have Bulkhead in his vehicle mode. And uh, again, it's a nice, accurate representation of Bulkhead's uh, show model. Uh, again, they've done quite a bit with paint apps. They've got uh, a painted grill, painted headlights, painted luggage rack, the darker green trim here. You've got painted bumper. Uh, painted uh, deck lid there, painted tail lights, um, just a, a nice bit of paint, but uh, there are, are a couple issues with the actual vehicle mode. Um, so the, a few of the pieces, they don't quite line up perfectly. So you get, you get some gaps, some pieces uh, sticking out a little bit. Uh, but uh, given the 
amount of parts that are moving and shifting around during the transformation, uh, it's it's going to be in inevitable unless they have super tight tolerances uh, that there's going to be some some differences in the way the panels line up. But overall, the vehicle looks looks very good. As I mentioned in robot mode, uh, there are a few quality issues with uh, sloppy paint on this figure, and it's actually more visible in the vehicle mode. Uh, besides this silver spot that I had on the door, it's now very apparent the uh, I've got a silver spot on the deck lid, uh, another silver spot here on the roof there, um, a silver spot over here. Um, it looks like somebody just had a silver paintbrush and uh, must have dropped it or something on here. Um, I haven't seen too many people with these problems, um, so I think I just got a little unlucky. Uh, I'm hoping I can maybe take a little bit of uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol or, or something and maybe try to uh, try to clean this up a little bit. Of course, it couldn't be complete unless there was a nice place for weapon storage. Um, I don't know if I'd necessarily call this a nice place for weapon storage, but there is a port bag here where you can plug in his wrecking ball weapon. Um, and it just kind of hangs on the back there. Um, not the best place to store a weapon, but at least it's something where you can, uh, you can at least put it so it doesn't get lost anyway. Uh, but I... I tend to keep most of my loose weapons in a uh, separate container anyway, but it's there if you want it. Now remember that image I had of the uh, robot mode of Bulkhead standing next to the Voyager uh, R.I.D. Prime? Well, here's where you're supposed to recall that. Uh, if you remember, Bulkhead was you know, just about the same height, maybe just a little bit shorter than Prime, and was just this big, massive robot. He turns into this little compact vehicle in comparison, and uh, that's just, uh, that's the amazing part, is how they were able to make a vehicle this size turn into a robot this size. Uh, it's just a just a great job of engineering there. And again, let's compare him to Cyberverse Bulkhead in robot mode here. And uh, remember how he came up to his waist? Yeah, uh, Cyberverse Bulkhead is taller than this vehicle mode. Uh, again, just attributing to how much of a uh, size change they can get when you uh, use the right right amount of engineering and and uh, innovation there to uh, get everything to collapse the way it does. One of the concerns I had when I pulled the trigger and bought this figure was all of the hype that has surrounded it. I'm a little late to the game with Bulkhead, and I've heard so many times that he's the best figure of the year, I was afraid he wouldn't live up to the expectations. Fortunately, my fears were unfounded. This truly is an exceptional figure. Was he worth the 60 bucks I dropped? Oh, definitely. Is he worth the 120 I've seen him for on eBay? Well, that may be up to you. Now that I have first edition bulkhead in hand, I can start to see where the R.I.D. bulkhead may fall short. I'm glad I found this figure for a good price, and really hope that Hasbro decides to release this mold again in the future.